Right, Mike, so first uh, history walk through Northampton Town Centre completed. Yep. Are you pleased with it? How did it go? Yes, it went very well. The people who came with us seemed very encouraged by what we had, um, interested in all the subjects. Uh, one chap did say to me that he wondered how we would fill the two and a half hours, um, but by the time he'd finished, he was saying, I can understand how we could be going on for another week without stopping because there's so much history here yeah and and it's just all lost what's your work for you what's the highlight what was the what's the bit you the gem you always enjoy oh every single inch of it um because because there is so much uh, and i suppose what i get out of it much of any house is seeing people the penny suddenly drop of how important northampton is and how important its history is uh, and just the fact that I can share my his knowledge of the history with other people, and that's 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 my gem. So how how was it? You've just been on Mike Ingram's uh, kind of historical walk around the centre of Northampton. What do you think? Very interesting, very informative. I've lived in Northampton all my life, and he's pointed out things to me, taking yeah. me to places I've never been before. So yeah. It was a really good morning's work for me. I think there's a there's there's quite a big issue for Northampton that it's heritage it, it's light buried under a bushel, slightly with their heritage. Is that the impression you get now you've had a proper? Definitely, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's many evil times. It seems like a really important place, and nobody really knows about that. So. Yeah. So, uh, it was very interesting. So. Yeah. And, uh, and would you think, would you recommend this to other people when Mike? I know Mike's going to do more of these. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okie doke. Well, keep us. Let's let's just uh, check in on some of the outstanding issues for the town. What's the situation with the Queen Eleanor's Cross at the moment? We're waiting now for the work to be done in April, which is all well and good with this uh, iron core apparently that needs looking at. But we still have the big problem, and this is the worst problem: is that the surface is uh, and we're now we've got a, a petition in place, uh, which you can get on the council's website to try and get the council to protect it over the winter because the cracks are huge, the friability of the surfaces is getting worse uh, and we'll be lucky to have half the cross left by once we get the winter out of Right. And uh, next uh, tour, for when, when's the next, when can people sign up to another one they of these? They sign up for it now. In actual fact, people are already signing up for it and it's probably about half taken up. Ready, and the next one to say is at the end of January. Please look at the Facebook page and the posters around for it. Uh, I'd be more than happy to see everybody.